when I came there, there was Matt, and there was Lori, and there was a whole bunch of other folks that Matt had brought together for a thought. And his thought was that, you know, uh, this was taking place um, uh, uh, at a site that was just a few hundred feet from our drinking water supply, which I discovered that morning, uh, serves the water that I give to my children. And uh, 80,000 other folks do the same in the communities of Salem and uh, Beverly. And they told me something I didn't know, that the place that we were standing on was a uh, fly ash disposal site that had been collecting fly ash for, uh, uh, and, and, dispo and uh, that had been used uh, by the power plant to, to uh, bury fly ash, and that uh, every day uh, the little brook was bringing little bits of fly ash into that drinking water supply. And uh, I have to tell you, uh, I stopped feeling cold. I started to feel a little warm. Then I started to feel a little hot. Then my brain got on fire. I said, this is wrong. We've got to do something. And then other people there said, you're right, this is wrong. And because of Matt and the Toxic Action Center, we got together. We formed a little group, the Wenham Lake Watershed Association. We had a thought. We're going to go form, a, uh, we're going to go collect some information here. And uh, there came that moment, another cold morning. Another cold morning, we went out on an ice floe. And uh, the Wenham Lake, you know, um, Queen Victoria, this is uh, pure water, you know, she would only have her ice cubes for her uh, cocktail uh, from the Wenham Lake. Yes, but there had been some time had passed since then. And we went on that water, that uh, ice, uh, uh, it was very thick, you know, and we, we invited uh, uh, about a hundred of our closest friends. And they happened to be local officials and some environmental folks and uh, citizens and, and, of course, some people in the media. And on that ice, we got out uh, uh, an ice core, you know, for ice fishing, and we drove a hole through that ice, and then we took a plastic tube, polycarbonate tube, you could see through it, you see? And then we pounded that tube down into the layers below the water. And then we pulled the tube up, and in that tube was three feet of really ugly looking fly ash. It was the lining of the bowl in which our drinking water was. All right, see those little footprints on the left-hand side of the screen? Um, those look nothing like what I found on my deck one day, but um, there's a little trail when my daughters were three and, no, were two and five. Um, they were outside on the deck, playing in the deck on a hot, hot summer day. They came running into the kitchen I have a white tile floor in the kitchen, and there was a trail of little black footprints all around the table as they were running around singing a song from Sesame Street, chasing each other. And I saw that little trail of footprints, and I thought, what, were they playing in the mud? What's going on? And I looked outside, and I, I, they, they couldn't go downstairs. I had the stairs blocked off, but the deck was covered with black soot. And I called up the power plant. There's a long story attached to this. I called up the power plant. They sent an insurance adjuster to my house. They took samples. And they came back in a short period of time and said, as part of our good neighbor policy, I see neighbor to neighbors here, as part of our good neighbor policy, we would like to power wash your deck for you. But before we do that, and we're not going to charge you for that, but before we do that, we want you to sign a form that says you will never sue us now or in the future for any liability. I stood there with that piece of paper in my hand and I said, hey, wait a minute, girls. <laughs> I'm talking to my kids, they, they, they didn't know what the heck I was talking about. Uh, I said, I think they missed my point. This was not about my deck. This was not about my furniture. This was about what we're breathing and what, we're on, what was on your little feet when you were tracking it into the kitchen and what it's doing to our health. So that moment was an, an epiphany for me. It turned, uh, you know, suburban housewife, or uh, not a housewife, I mean, I, I'm a CPA, that, that I, I had my own business, suburban businesswoman, mother, into an environmental activist. It was that moment alone. So.